Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Well, let's lift our hands to the Most High God and bless His holy name. Let us bless the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Ancient of Days, the Unchangeable Changer. Let's give Him glory. Let's give Him honor. Praise Him. There's none like him. Go see any to that be red. His name is wonderful. Oru kore ni yano. Counselor. Olu damaro. Mighty God. Olorun alagbara. Everlasting Father. Baba yiraye. The Prince of Peace. Omo aladi alafia. Praise him. Hey, ye. Give him glory. Give him honor. If you go at your life, he's here again tonight to bless you. He's, he's here again tonight to bless you. He's here again tonight to bless you. Bless his holy name, give him glory. And you look or worship him. And just the fool. He said again tonight to bless you. No one see Lala Ilati Wabu Kufu. Thank him for what he had done in the past. Thank him for what he will yet do. It's going to be a very, very glorious night, so praise him in advance. Thank you, Father. Bye -bye. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. Jesus, we give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you Savior. We give you. Almighty God, we give you all the glory. Allah will do my happy bobo go for. We give you all the honor. Happy bobo la for. We give you all the adoration. Happy bobo just in for. 
Ancient of days, we worship you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For all you've done for us all this year. Thank you for the salvation of our souls. Thank you for keeping us in your love. Thank you for our health and strength. Thank you for joy in the Holy Ghost. Thank you for yesterday. Thank you for today. Thank you in advance for tomorrow. Thank you because we know our future will be alright. Father, accept our worship in Jesus. Name. Tonight, Lord God Almighty, in the lives of every one of your children, Father, do something new. Do something special. All those who are serving you in spirit and in truth, before this time next year, give them at least 81 breakthroughs. Amen. Thank you, my Father and my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Well, let someone shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let someone shake hand with one or two people and say good evening. Welcome to Breakthroughs. And then you may please be seated, except those who are born in the month of March. My Father and my God, we are committing all the March children into your hands. Baba, me at me I have a very special request for them, Lord. Because this is the third month of the year. I pray that the Trinity will work for you. That your blessings will always be threefold. Your promotion will be triple. Your anointing will be triple. Your testimonies will be triple. Your commitment to serve God will be triple. And in every area of your life, God will bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. All right, much children shout a big hallelujah. And then you may please be seated. Uh, I before, before we proceed further, at, as at 6 p.m., the number of babies that have been delivered during this special Holy Ghost service stands at 18. <laughs> this one is serious. 13 boys. 
Amma Kuri Metala and five girls. Amma Bini Maru. Let the boy shout, Praise the Lord. And let the girl shout, Hallelujah. Wow, that's serious. Thirteen boys. <laughs> okay, that tells me something very special is about to happen tonight. Now, I also want to, I want to remind us about the pilgrimage to the Holy Land this year. Moferan wa leti irin ajo lo si ile mimo Jerusalem ni odun yi for those who are planning to join me and my wife on top of eyin ti e fe tele mi ati yawo mi lo si ile Israeli ime this year ni osu kaarun odun yi i want you to know that registration closes next week friday i foruko sile yo do pe lo ose to nbo ojo jimo ose to nbo this is because right now we have a good problem. We have more registered people than there are rooms. And so we are we have to close the books so that uh, there won't be a problem concerning accommodation. So those who have not completed their payment by 10th of uh, March. Uh, unfortunately, may have their funds, uh, their money refunded. How that would get to son like that for you? Oh Lord, this is going to be a very great night. I can sense it in my spirit. So I think we will just go straight to to work. In theory, no. I'm just a light didn't know. You know, I told you about a good friend of mine. Who is always answering questions in uh, funny ways? Most of you know about him. He comes to the club, be a la word, and he will command them to be ready. Baba Shewuni. His questions will be right, but uh, it's not the kind of answer that you will give him a uh, mark for. I want to be ready, man. Rewa. I want to his answers rather. So when he down re, he say ti elifi, ti elifi nyaga. Is the one who told us last year that uh, the chairman is somebody who is sitting in a chair. So once again, will you say welcome to the chairman next to you? <laughs> so that Which is why I'm sitting down too, because this is a congregation of chairmen. It's a, it's a fellow that uh, the teacher came to the class, the Sunday school teacher came to the class. Pointed to him and said, who killed Goliath? He said, no be me. Oh. I'm not the one who killed Goliath. Tonight, the Almighty God wants me to tell someone straight away. Your laughter is beginning now. Oh. All right, if you are that one, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Next month, we'll be having a special legal service for children. You know, we always have it in April. We bring our children. We anoint them so that sickness and disease will stay away from them. And kidnappers won't even look in their direction. Please make sure you come on time. You know, since we started, the devil had always tried very hard to make sure we won't be able to bring the children by creating very severe traffic jams on that particular day so bring the children as soon as they finish from school bring them in they have enough space to play after they have arrived and the theme for that special children uh, Holy Ghost service is the divine touch. The Bible said they brought children to him that he might touch them. But he just didn't touch them, he carried them. And I know there are children here that the Almighty God can still carry. Including myself. Because, because he is the ancient of days. So there's nobody here who is who can be called anything other than an infant compared to him. So let us make sure that we have we, we come and we bring all our children. Please. Today, tonight we're talking about the God of breakthroughs. Our text is Second Kings chapter two. From verse nine to fifteen. Second King chapter two nine to fifteen. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, Shio. A lot of so somebody said. Uh, I wish I have children so I can bring them next month. Any cons all on so for me to pay any cons so we pay ah but it don't okay me no lomo see me no bali we walu shoot on board. Ask me to tell you all on in so for more before the end of this month. Your children will already be moving in your womb. Amen. I want my red what you must say cool so you know kunre. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Let and he said, Thou hast had a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I'm taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. Oh, see, we pay you up, pay you to show you. Shuban, be what by the mini batty, I back by me, cool, Lord, or a yo rebel for one, Shuban, be back or yo rebel. And it came to pass as they still went on and talked that behold there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder and Elijah went up by a wild wind into heaven. Oh, see, she be wanting love, see one sorrow, see, 
keke ina ati esin ina si la arin won awon mejeji elija si ba ajago kere orun and elisha saw it and he cried my father my father the chariot of israel and the horsemen thereof and he saw him no more and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces elisha si ri o si ki gbe pe baba mi baba mi keke israel ati awon eleshin re o n ko si ri won mo o si di aso ara re mu o si fa won ya si meji he took up also the mantle of elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of jordan o si mu agbada elijah ti o bo lowo re o si pada seyin o si duro ni bebe jordani and he took the mantle of elijah that fell from him and smote the waters and said where is the lord god of elijah and when he also had smitten the water they parted hither and thither and elisha went over o si mu agbada elijah ti o bo lowo re o si lu omi na o si wi pe ni bo ni oluwa olorun elijah wa nigbati o nigbati o n pelu si lu omi na won si pe ya sin hin ati sohun elisha si re koja and when the sons of the prophets which were to view at jericho saw him they said the spirit of elijah doth rest on elisha and they came to meet him and bowed themselves to the ground before him awon mo awon woli to wa ni jericho ni haikeji si ri won si wi pe emi elijah ba le elisha won si wa pade re won si te ara won ba sile ni waju re because you came tonight nitori po wa la leyi all your colleagues gbogbo awon akojogba re very soon will be bowing down to you like that i want to thank god for my son who spoke before me this evening mo dupe lowo olorun fun omo mi to koko wa su saju mi laleyi your anointing will never run dry amen if i'm your ororiyan re ko ni gbe and i want to really really thank god for the choir mo si fe dupe lowo olorun na fun awon akorin they just keep on getting better and better oh do do money won dara si god bless you olorun ki o bu kun fun yin Our God is a God of breakthroughs. Olorun wa je Olorun awon aluyo. And from the text we read, ni e se bibeli ta ka yi, it is possible to have breakthroughs in many area of life. O se se fun wa lati ni awon aluyo ni opolopo ona ninu aye wa. And to have all of them even in a single day. ati pe ki a ni gbogbo won po lojo kan na elisha had many breakthroughs in one day i elisha ni opolopo aluyo lojo kan soso he had physical breakthrough oni aluyo ni pati ara jordan opened for him be ni odo jordan ila fun o si koja he had material breakthrough oni aluyo ni pati ohun ini You discover that Elisha never had to ask a widow for food. Elisha ko ni lati bere o je lowo opo. As a matter of fact, he decreed. Muni pe ma pa julo ohun lo ma npa ase abundance to a widow that was destitute. O pa ase opolopo yanturu sile aye opo ti o ni nkan kan in second king chapter 4 from ni, verse 1 to 7 ninu iwe awon ba kejori kerin ese kini de keje a rich woman had to constrain him practically force him even to come and eat o berin to loro to lowo to gbajumo ni ilu bi pe o fi ti pa ti pa mu gan ni ko to ya lati je un nile re And because of the breakthroughs that you are going to have today ni tori nipa awon aluyo to ma ri nipa loni in the name that's above every other name ni oruko na to ju gbogbo oruko lo you will never beg again amen oh ni toro mo o he also 
not only had physical breakthrough, material breakthrough. He had spiritual breakthrough. He became promoted above all his colleagues. He woke up in the morning as one of the sons of the prophets. Before the day was out, he had become the father of all the sons of the prophets. If only you can believe it. Because of the breakthrough you are about to have tonight. You will soon be at the top of your own career. <laughs> Because of the spiritual breakthrough that he had that, that day, he became someone who can decree an end to a curse. That I means in 2 King chapter 2, from verse 19 to 22. 2 King chapter 2. 19 to 22. He decree an end to the curse in Jericho. And Tonight I'm decreeing concerning all the villages and towns represented here. Every curse upon your towns, cities and villages are cancelled tonight. Amen. Every curse upon your Second Kings five one to forty. You know you know the story of Naaman very well. Naaman had an incurable disease. That's the man of God just decreed that uh, he should go and take a bath. He did what he was told. He was completely whole. So may I decree straight away that all of you are told that your sickness cannot be cured. By Monday. Monday. Go and check with your doctor. He will think he's looking at a new person. Amen. He raised the dead when he was alive. Because of the spiritual breakthrough that he had. And raised the dead even after he himself was dead. While he was alive, he was performing mighty miracles. Even after he died, his dead bones still continued the job. I'm standing on the authority of the word of God to say that every good thing that had died in your life will, will come back to life tonight. Amen. 
mo pa se wi pe ohun rere gbogbo to ti doku ninu aye e wo pada di alaye he became the protector of his nation o wa di eni tin dabu bo orile ide re in second king chapter 6 ni no ba kiji ori kefa from verse 8 to 12 as they get your day kijila second king chapter 6 from verse 8 to 12 oh back in the only careful as they get your day kijila delivered his king from falling into the trap of the enemy oh wow by lure lower i want a put it to your party they left one when that king sent an army to arrest him, he arrested those who were coming to arrest him. And when there was famine in the land, in Second King chapter 7, from verse 1 to 16. Second Kings chapter 7, 1 to 16. He decreed abundance within 24 hours. Since this is a special time in my own life, because I'm, I'm sure many of you know the history of the Holy Ghost service. That it all started in 1986. Uh, when my birthday was near. And the Almighty God asked me, son, what do you want for your birthday? And I told him, I want every member of my congregation to have a miracle. And he said, call them together. And I did, which is, I mean, it's a story, you know. This is the anniversary of that special breakthrough in my life. So so if you hear me making decrees, I appeal to you that you take them very seriously. And one of the decrees I want to make straight away is that I want that oh Nigeria it shall be well with you. Amen. Ewo Nigeria you darafun And I want to say to somebody here tonight mo tun wa fe so fe nikan ni all those who want to arrest you, all those who want to slow you down, all those who want to put you into bondage, they shall be arrested. And those of you who are in a famine, whether physical, financial, spiritual, or otherwise. Boya ni pati uti ani ni kwa wini ni pati ina wo tabi ni titi mi abi onoko na tu inyo tu ma bjao in less than 24 hours. Kio tu di shaju ai wakati mani lelogo your families will be over. Amen. Amen. In your you Because he had spiritual breakthrough. He decreed end 
spiritual mockers. The second king chapter 2 from verse 23 to 24 2 Kings 2, 23 to 24 He was minding his own business and then some children began to mock him He spoke a word and, and then came to them in Second Kings chapter seven, from verse seventeen to twenty, Second Kings seventeen seventeen to twenty, when he prophesied, and someone very high up in government. Laughed at him. What are you talking about? If, if God were to make windows in heaven, can this thing be? They told him, Go back, she will say, Ferris, they so do. They lay gun, she shall be. He silenced them. Oh, by Lenoma. He told him, You will see the miracle happen, only you won't partake of it. That's why tonight I'm issuing a decree. All those who are mocking you, you won't see them again. Amen. Oh, nearly one And I think you better say amen to that. Amen. Because of the spiritual breakthrough that he had. <laughs> It seems as I've created some problems with my degree. Because the Lord says there's someone here. Those who are actually resisting your progress are members of your family. I want to do it. 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 <laughs> so may I advise you then if you we'll find some relatives dying prematurely it's because the decree has already gone out Oh no, ni we pe a se ti jade o all those resisting your progress a gbogbo awon ti won doju ijako ilo ti waju e within or without ni le ni tabi ni ta ni you won't see them again amen oh ni ri won mo o All right. I think you, you better pray for me tonight. Oh. Because of the spiritual breakthrough that uh, he had, he joined a special club of giants. Moses. Mose, the Red Sea opened for him. Joshua, Joshua, he 
If you read Joshua chapter 3 from verse 7 to 17. Joshua chapter 3 from verse 7 to 17. Joshua 3, 7 to 17. Joshua Jordan opened for Joshua. Jordan ni opunya nitori Joshua. In fact, is something very interesting there in verse seven. Oh, kanto sheye pataki ninu oni eseke jenye nipe. Is that God told Joshua? Joshua, Allah nusafu Joshua. He said, from today, I will begin to magnify you. May that be your portion also. Amen. The Red Sea opened for Moses. Jordan opened for Joshua. Jordan opened for Joshua. And then in Second Kings chapter two verse eight, Jordan opened for Elijah. Jordan for Elijah. And suddenly, Jordan opened also for Elisha. Jordan for Elisha. So Elisha joined the club of spiritual giants. Elisha Permit me to decree that one day when they are talking of world spiritual giants your name will be included. Now, you too can have breakthroughs. You can have breakthrough physical. You can have breakthroughs material. You can have breakthroughs spiritual. All in one day. I mean, for example, for example, in Mark chapter 10, from verse 46 to 52, Mark chapter 10, from verse 46 to 52, in the story of Bartimaeus, that I'm sure you know very well. In one day, Lord his blindness was over. That was a physical breakthrough. The same day, Lord his garment of suffering was thrown away by himself. I show you he never begged again. That was material breakthrough. And at the end of the story, the Bible said he followed Jesus in the way. He became a disciple of Jesus. He became someone whose story is still affecting the world more than 2,000 years after he died. I mean, he had three major breakthroughs in one day. So I want to decree to somebody before you leave here tonight, you have at least three breakthroughs. Now, God is a sovereign. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Amen. <laughs> I want to say amen to this one before I turn. Um, mm -hmm. The Lord says there's someone here. Oh, Lord, 
he said, I will send three very serious destiny helpers to you. He used the word very serious. And I want to say amen, Lord. Amen. amen. Now God is sovereign. You know, we are talking of the God of breakthroughs. Psalm 115, verse 3. Psalm 115, verse 3. It says, Our God is in the heavens. And he has done as he pleases. He's the original majesty. I mean, for example, in Romans chapter 9, verses 15 and 16. Romans 9, 15 and 16. Romans 9, 15 he said, I'll be merciful unto whom I'll be merciful. I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So I just decided who I'm going to be merciful to. So you can, you can choose who to give a breakthrough to. I mean, for example, in John chapter 5, from verse 2 to 9, John 5, 2 to 9, there was a, a multitude of people expecting healing. Jesus walked in there he healed only one. He just went his own way. I pray for somebody here tonight. Ah, if God is going to be merciful to somebody, may you be that one. To ba je ni kan soso lo lorun pe nu lati sanu fun iwo ni wa je ni na but 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 if we if study the bible very well to ba wa se so jusun ku we ko bibeli you discover that uh, breakthrough can be obtained by force we eyan le gba luyo na ti pa ti pa o you know matthew chapter 11 verse 12 you were matthew ori kokan la ese keji Matthew 11 verse 12. Matthew ori kokan la ese keji la. So since the days of John the Baptist. We lati ogba ojo Johanu oni Baptisti. The kingdom of God so very violent. Ijoba run di afagbara wo. The violent have taken it by force. Awon alagbara si fi pagba. Maybe if 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 you are the loudest. Boya to ba je pe iwo ni igbere lo sokeju. Maybe if you are the one who will say to je pe iwo lo wa so wi pe. Maybe if you say, I will have my breakthrough tonight. You can receive it in Jesus' name. One can receive, I mean... Um, my, those of you who are not here yesterday, you didn't know what to miss. My children, oh, they did marvelous works. And one of them said, 
that if you want a breakthrough, you can get it by violent faith. And it's correct. Because in Mark chapter 2, from verse 1 to 12, Mark 2, from verse 1 to 12, Thank you, Father. May I want to say amen to this one also. Daddy says, Daddy means what we pray. Those who ever plan to destroy your heritage. Daddy says they will die before you. Daddy, Mr. Wipe, one kusha jue. You know, in, in Mark chapter 2, we mark Ori Keji from verse 1 to 12. Esther, can it be Keji la? They brought one young man to Jesus Christ for healing. One be Okuni Kawa, Fin Wilson, Lost Lord of Jesus. And there was no, no way he could get into Jesus Christ. They carried him to the roof. Force upon the ceiling. And brought the man to the feet of Jesus Christ. That was violent faith. They carried him in, he walked out. No, one of the things I will ask when I see that man in heaven. Is who repair the ceiling? <laughs> because he didn't wait. As soon as he got well, he just went away. Everything that wants to stand in your way tonight. Just one shout of amen will get rid of it. Amen. And then one of my children who spoke yesterday said so that you could get breakthrough through violent prayer. Violent, persistent prayer. In in Matthew 15, from verse 21 to 28. Matthew 15, 21 to 28. A woman said, My daughter is grievously vexed of the devil. Lord, help me. Bible said, no, Jesus didn't answer. Jesus, Dalum. And those who should have helped the woman told the Lord, send this woman away, she's too loud. I want to hear Koran, Lord. I want to stop from Jesus. She kept on crying. Oh, Pari, oh. Jesus Christ said, uh, I'm not saying better today, lost sheep of the house of Israel. Jesus, I want to hear Israel. Jesus, I want to hear Israel. I can't, can't give a breakthrough to somebody who is not a member of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Uh, the woman said, uh, <laughs> I know I'm not of the household of Israel. 
I'm not going anywhere. I must get my breakthrough today. Jesus Christ, I can't give the bread of children to dogs. Yes, <laughs> I am not arguing with you. Call me any other name other than dog. I say I must have my breakthrough. The Lord turned and said, Ah, great is your faith. He said, You can have what you want. When the time comes to pray tonight, I beg you, 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 you went through a lot to get here. This is a night like no other. You must not get out of here without your breakthrough. I told you the story of uh, one night, I mean one day, years ago. We've just finished our convention. In those days, we have two sets of conventions. So the convention takes two weeks. At the end of the second week, I was tired. So I finished, I came home. I told my wife and children, come, let's pray the, we pray the short prayer. Don't let anybody disturb me. I want to go and sleep. I was so tired. I hit the bed without taking my socks off. Few minutes, just as I was going far into sleep land. My wife came and knocked at the door. Darling, you have to wake up. I told, I told you I don't want to be disturbed. She said, I know you are tired. And there's a woman at the door. Came all the way from the north. When she came, she asked the children. Is daddy in? They say yes. I want to see him. He's not seeing anybody again. But he's in. Good. It's not coming today. It's not coming out today. She said, Who talk about today? He said, I will sit at this door. Whatever time he wants to come up. Any number of days. He will meet me here. So my wife said, <laughs> you better add this tiredness to your tiredness. Because <laughs> so she was sitting at the door, they gave her food and she was eating. So I came out. Woman, what is your problem? And she said, All I want is, I want you to touch my head. This head that is always refusing good things. Touch it. She got a miracle. Is there somebody here tonight? Who says, Lord, I'm not going anywhere. I must have my breakthrough tonight. If you are the one, let me hear you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, there is this issue of assisted breakthrough. Uh, 
Um, see, Matthew chapter 18, verse 19. The way Matthew, Orike Jidilogun, Esther Kokon Dilogun. Thank you, Father. The Lord asked me to tell somebody. He said, right now you are walking on troubled waters. You to Daddy asked me to tell you. But Daddy I will hold your hand. You will not sink. Oh, In Matthew 18, verse 19, the Bible says, If two of you shall agree, there be any image in as such anything you ask on earth, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. I'm going to ask you to do something. You know, in the night, whenever God wants to do something extraordinary, I always appeal to you at the beginning that you please be ready to be childish for just a while. I want you to join hand with the fellow next to you. And with all your heart, I want you to pray. Father, Baba, this fellow I'm holding before the sun rises tomorrow. Give him a breakthrough. Go ahead, pray for Joseph. A minute. This fellow I'm holding, my father, my God, before the sun rises tomorrow. Give him a major breakthrough. Please give him a major breakthrough. Give him a major breakthrough before the sun rises tomorrow. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Now you you know the story of uh, Naaman very well. He nearly lost his breakthrough. But for God who allowed him to be assisted. The housemaid helped him. He got to the man of God. He sent a servant to tell him what to do. He got angry. But his servant assisted him again. Yesterday, one of my sons who was preaching spoke about David who brought breakthrough to a nation. May I decree to somebody right now? Somebody who will assist you in getting your breakthrough will come to you. Amen. Any tiyoran lawo lati ni aluyore yo wari. And then there is the issue of the God of your father. When uh, he Elisha was going to get uh, his breakthrough, 
the cry he cried was my father my father and when he was going to pray he said where is the lord god of Elijah your father in the Lord has a role to play in your breakthrough I want you to pay very close attention to where we are don't worry I will soon finish preaching and allow you to pray there are some of us who take the issue of your spiritual father lightly there are some of us who have several fathers it's only a demon who has more than one father every human being you have only one father If you have a wrong father, change that tonight. At least one thing is clear. You can never get more than double the anointing of your father. So if your father has no anointing, if it's a pretender or the oil has dried up on you have a problem so for all those who call me who genuinely are my children I decree tonight. The way will open for you. Amen. Amen. I have to stand for this one. Yeah. Please let me pull the chair back. Thank you. Hmm. I I see something. Maureen, come on. I see the sun going backward. Maureen, don't bother saying. So I ask, Daddy, what, what does this one mean? Maureen, love or Baba, me pray, kin it to my lady. And he says, for some of you listening to me tonight, <laughs> including myself, Daddy says he's rolling back your age by five years. Dad, 
Daddy so we be Oh yo or do maru Pro di no jori Your age will still be the same Your don't your more don't you want to know what's in my But your body will be five years younger Sugmon, a go ara e, yo gba i le ra, to ti, to te kwe odoma ro ti yon kuro nou re. And he said, by this shall you know. Kwe e le yi gan, ni o wa jya mi, ti wa fi mo. Number one. A koko. You will become stronger. Wa ni o ko, si wa ju si. Your eyes will become sharper. Your memory will become more accurate. <laughs> oh, my daddy. And ask me to tell you. For one of the people, he said the number of gray hair on your head will reduce. Ah, I think you should lift your hand to God and, and thank Him for that. <laughs> No worries, okay, go do Father, we receive. Hey, I receive receive that. I receive that. I receive that, Lord. I receive that, Lord. Thank you, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Mm, let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, you can please be seated. Oh Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. <laughs> I can hear somebody singing. And the song is Ori today. I am going higher, yes I am. I'm going higher each day, hallelujah. Oh, I am going higher, yes I am. Going with Jesus to stay. I'm going above the shadows into the presence of God, into the presence of Jesus. I'm going higher each day. Ah. If you are that one, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Oh, Lord. The Lord asked me to tell somebody. He said the embargo is lifted. Let me tell you I, I will put the lions to sleep Okay, now let me begin to round up. 
eje e ma wa mu ona na pa wa si pare one of my children spoke yesterday you can la ra won mo mi soro lana and told us about how a breakthrough is like a digging a well o pe aluyo da bi eni tin gbe kan ga you know there is water under the ground pe o mi nbe ninu lele and you are digging and digging ya ba gbe titi titi until you get to the water e gbe titi e fi ma kan o mi and you get to water you have uh, broken through to pe te ba ti kan o mi e ti ni aluyo kan ni e um so from yesterday now we had a new way of greeting ourselves ni atana yen awa ni ona otun ta fi nkira wa we shake hands and say keep digging keep digging ti bowo ani ma gbe ma gbe lo ma gbe lo because he, he spoke that we dug we got to water and we stopped that we should dig deeper and get to gold we dig deeper we we'll get to diamond and i said i will keep digging till i get to oil emi wa so fun wi pe o emi o ma gbe titi won fi kan epo robi how about shaking hand with one or two people and say keep digging keep digging wa oni boya ko bo nikan lo wa tabe ni meji pe ma gbe si waju si keep digging ma gbe le lo ma gbe le lo it is from that angle now that i've come to the last phase of my talk e um lati be yen ni mo tu wa fe mu oro mi wa si ipari lale yi o to dig you need a sharp instrument lati ri pe agbele anilo ohun oko tabi ti enu re mu and there's no instrument sharper than the word of god ko de wa si ohun elo kan kan to muju oro olorun lo hebrew chapter 4 verse 12 he we heberu ori kerin ese ikejila Hebrews 4:12. Hebrews ori kerin ese ikejila. Tells us that the word of God is quick and powerful. Oni oro Olorun ye o si ni agbara and sharper than any two-edged sword. O si mu ju idakija oloju meji lo. And then one of my children like I told you said that you need faith for you to get a breakthrough. Oh, kan ninu won so wi pe eni lo igbagbo ki o ba le ri aluyo re gba. Now Romans 10:17, we wrote mu e ri ke wa ese iketa di ni ogun. Romans 10:17, we wrote mu o ri ke wa ese iketa di logun. Says us that faith comes by hearing. Oh, so fun wa wi pe igbagbo wa ni pa gbigbo. Romans 10:17 I say Romu ori kewa ese iketa dilogun Faith comes by hearing igbagbo a ma wa ni pa gbigbo and hearing by the word of God ati gbigbo ni pa ti oro olorun you need the word of God to dig oni lo oro olorun lati gbele it is the word of God that will produce the faith oro olorun yi na ni o mu igbagbo jade the sick knows that there is healing available and it don't shy so mo we pay he was on bed all he or she needs is the word of god to get that healing oh to si ni lo na ni oro olorun ti o mu ki iwo san re o te lowo he sent his word oro oro re and healed them oro re si mu won larada The poor knows that there is something called prosperity. Eni to to si mo wi pe nkan be ti an pe ni iloro. Either he had been rich before but and is now poor. Boyo ti loro ri to ti wa di oto si ni sin ni. Oh at least can see rich people around. Tabi pe o ti ri eni to lowo to loro ladupo re. 
to break through to prosperity requires the word of God. Lati ni aluyo iloro oni lo ro loru. In Second King chapter four, from verse one to seven. E we oba keji ori keri este kini de keji. Second Kings four. Oba keji ori keri. From verse one to seven. Este kini de keji. It is the word of Elisha. Or Elisha that turned the tide for the destitute. Oh no, Muki, bow ye pada. Fumo bini alai niye. So that the creditors became disgraced. So that we have to do duty. I want you to tell you. It takes the word of God to make the fruitless fruitful. Oh, ni ani lo ro lo ro ki eni ti o ti agan ko le di olomo. Many of the testimonies we have heard. Go go and where it is. Go look ni. We came to the Holy Ghost service. One was this name, Mimi Ma. Daddy said. Uh, Daddy, we pay. That is, Daddy said. We pay by rest, or we pay. And then we see the results. As he read, a badger they want. The Baron needs just the word. I want a gun or a conscious operator too. In First Samuel chapter one, from verse one to twenty. Samuel, kini ori kini ese kini de ogun. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Again, this is me. <clears throat> hey, so I say amen to this one. Amen. <laughs> the Almighty God said, There's someone here tonight. He said, Very soon. Like, eh? When you get to the point of disgrace, eh? Whenever they want to describe you or your children, the word that will be frequently used is the word excellent. In First Samuel chapter one, from verse one to twenty. In Samuel, kini uri kini ese kini dese ugu. Just one word. Or a constitution. It's what Anna had. Or a constitution. Anna. Togbo. Togbo. That changed her look. She stopped weeping. She was not sad anymore. And she came back. Bo she with a baby. She was not sad anymore. And she came back with a baby. Breakthroughs come. By the word of God, and it's either God Himself who speak directly to you, like He spoke to Abraham and Sarah in Genesis 18. Or He could speak through an angel. Like he did in Judges 13. Or Luke chapter 1. In Judges 13, he spoke to Manoah's wife. And and Samson was the result. In Luke chapter 1, he spoke to Zechariah. And John the Baptist was the result. Our God could speak through his prophet. Prophet spoke. And the miracle happens and if, if, if we check again and again when some breakthroughs came for people or nations particularly in Jericho the Bible said the waters of Jericho were healed according to the word that Elisha spoke 
gege bi oro ti wo elisha so thank you father amen the lord said there's someone here tonight oluwa so pe eyan kan wa ni la leyi and i say amen to that too bi na so ami si o he said very soon the light be light you know a crowd, a huge crowd will surround you. And they will all be saying one word. And that word will be Congratulations. Amen. 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 Now, if you check through the scriptures, you will find that the pastor in charge of a congregation is always called the angel of the church. Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 3. So tonight, I'm standing in the position of your spiritual father. I'm standing as an angel of the Lord. And even though I'm not a prophet, but I hear from him from time to time. And before we finish tonight, I'm going to combine all these offices. And decree your breakthrough. Amen. And that time is not too far from here. But you have to do one or two things before then. Number one, we have to do with some of you who probably came late. So you were not here when the first altar call was made. But you can call me daddy in the real sense of the word unless you are born again. Oh, le pe mi ni daddy re ni to 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 you can be my spiritual son if you are living in sin. Oh, le jomo mini no luwa to ba jenu eshe lo ti mukun. It's not possible. Ko se se o. You must be a true child of God before you can look at me and say, hey, "That's my daddy." O ni lati jomo lorun ni to to ko to le wo mi sunsun pe mi ni baba re ni no luwa. It is only if both of us are inside the kingdom of the lord jesus christ that the relationship of daddy son daddy daughter can apply those don't let anybody deceive you we can't break the word of god Breakthrough comes through the word of God. And it is clearly written. Say ye to the righteous. It shall be well with him. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 10. Woe to the wicked. For he shall be ill with him. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 11. You want it to be well with you? And you have not uh, surrendered your life to Jesus? You are joking. 
Pray you can make up your mind tonight. If you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, you run forward now. Run to the altar, whether here or in the old auditorium or any of the other uh, overflows or wherever you may be. If you are not anywhere in a church setting, if you are at home, you just stand up to let Jesus know you are standing up. If you are in a car, you park the car and let him know you mean business. So if you want to give your life to Jesus, I'm going to count from one to ten. By the time I say ten, if you are not already standing before the altar, it's either you already saved or you don't want to come. That's so I'm counting now. One. Amy. Two. AG. Three. Eta. Four. Eri. Five. Arun. Six. F. Seven AJ Eight AJ Nine. Eson. Now I can see some of you are still very far away because of distance. But if we are for you see what learning it, learn a GG. Please keep coming. Hey Joe, Emma Ball, Emma Alpes, what do you? I'm praying as you come. Ask God to have mercy on you. So Jesus, please have mercy on me. Jesus, for me. Save my soul. Forgive all my sins. Let your blood wash away my sins. We serve you. Come and be my Lord. Come and be my Savior. Now we do your will from now on. Call on him. And the rest of us, please stretch your hands towards these people who have come forward. And intercede for them. 
the one who saved our souls will save their own souls Make also. Your Lord, back on one la. Go back to one la. Pray for them, brethren. And you are right, the way Jack Badraf won. Intercede for them. A Jabbe Benito Ritu won. The Savior will have mercy on them. Make you look better, Kosha, no fool. Save their souls today. Joke back on one aluni. Write their names in the book of life. Kosi Koruka was in the way. Receive them into the family of God. Kosi Bawas in my labia alone. Those of you who are coming, you need to hurry up now because I'm about to pray for healing, uh, for salvation. Thank you, Father. Our Father and our God, we want to bless your holy name. Thank you for your word. I do prefer you. Thank you for the people who heard your word and decided to surrender to you. I do prefer you to work for you to ask me to let you pay you for you. Father, please receive them. Baba, I tell you, Baba, have mercy on them. Yes, we shall not for one. Save their souls. Let your blood wash away their sins. Let your blood wash away their sins. Give it to you. You go where we wish and want to know. Please write their names in the book of life. Do we have to call you? Can we see you? And from now on, when they cry unto you, that is to see, let you know keep your. Please answer them by fire. I do well. I don't want to look at you now. When you are giving breakthroughs to your children, but if I'm from a woman, you need a woman to you. Give them their own too. If you want to know, back now. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Me, you will call that just to like Badura. Amen. Amen. Now, those of you who have come forward, congratulations. Uh, from now on, by the grace of God, I'll be praying for you. The counselors will give you some cards to fill very quickly. Because I need your names, your address, and your prayer requests. Fill the forms quickly, pass it on back to the counselors, and then go back to your seats. And I promise you I'll be praying for you. Thank you very much. Uh, while we wait for you, I think uh, the Choir will sing. But I'm a drunker called I want choir. I want calling who calling for just the band. Okay.
It is time to pray. As go to a lot And like I said earlier on, I beg you make sure you pray intensely tonight. No bro, bad kikon kikon like share la lei. The day called the 3rd of March 2023. We never come back again. So this, this moment in history is a once and for all moment. Now when we talk about breakthrough physically, some of us will say, I bet I'm not sick. Real breakthrough physically means number one, you are whole. It also means no more sickness until it is time to go home. When Elisha had that breakthrough, physical breakthrough, he was sick only once. When he was about to go, and the sickness didn't last long. So I don't know about you, but. I need physical breakthrough. I don't want ever to be sick again. No, no ache, no pain, no matter how small. So your prayer number one is to praise God that you are here. Number two, Almighty God, this night, give me physical breakthrough. Never to be sick again. Number two, when we talk of uh, spirit, uh, material breakthrough, not only do I want all my needs met, abundantly, Lord, it is written, I will learn to nations. But I will never borrow. You want to talk to God. I want material breakthrough. That promise of lending to nations. I want to fulfill in my life. Anything I want to do for God. I want to be able to do it easily. Don't want to be scratching my head before I can do whatever my heart desire to do for God. So prayer number three. Lord, I want a material breakthrough tonight. Prayer number four has to do with fruitfulness. It's not just the fellow who hasn't got a child that is called barren. Barrenness actually means you are working hard. There's nothing to show for it. Because 
Lord, everything I touch from now, I just want it to prosper and prosper mightily. Oh, we will see him for work on last year. Ni lo lo aje ko yori sirere. I want that kind of breakthrough. Put it down as number four. And I want spiritual breakthrough. <laughs> well, I don't know how far you want to go spiritually. It will be a good idea if any time you want, you can raise the dead. Like you can just wave your hand and miracles will just begin to happen. The devils will see you coming and they will run. So put it down. I want spiritual breakthrough and then other breakthroughs that you want to just add you have 30 minutes to pray the altar is open just go ahead and storm the throne of heaven and let God know I'm not getting up from my knees without my own breakthrough. <laughs>
Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Ni orukan la Jesu lagbadura. Receive your breakthrough now. Ba lu yo re loni. Have a physical breakthrough right now. Behold, right now. Because Become a surprise to the doctor right now. Receive a material breakthrough right now. For the rest of your life, be debt free. Never beg for anything again. Oh, need Toroman. Lie, lie. Always have more than sufficient. Nigo Kweba. Wama niya nito atia nisheku. From today onward, whatever you touch shall prosper. La to ni lo gbogbo idawole re yo serere You will go higher every day Lo do juma oke oke ni wa ma lo Receive spiritual breakthrough now Ba lu yo re ni pati emi any time you pray, let there be fire. Me go go iba, go wash in badura. He know my daddy. Become a terror to the devil. Di eru jeje ati arista fu satani. Become a spiritual jaya. Become a mighty vessel in the hand of the Almighty God. Before the sun rises, sing a song of victory. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let me hear you shout a big hallelujah to that. God bless you. Let's let's go back to our seats. Well, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know.
For those who feel they might need a lay on offense, tomorrow morning by 11 a.m., here as well as in the old auditorium, um, senior pastors will be there and they will attend to you. We want to do about two things more and then we'll be on our way. How should be magic? I was laying out my law. First, we want to say thank you to the Almighty God. A kokono affect du kwele wo long wo lo du mari. And then we will pronounce a very special blessing on you before we depart. I was the one who was telling you that you were telling me. Tomorrow evening there will be Holy Communion service as well as anointing service. Lola, Onjalulu Wayowa, Ati Ifamiroroyon. That will be in the evening. Niro Leola. I will tell you a story to back the final blessing for tonight. Master et en con, font yin, la ti ki yin, yure ou ni, ti mou fèste font yin, la ti ki yin le yin. A daughter of mine applied for American visa. O mou mi kon, bebe, la ti ba yure ou ni, la lo si lo America. She came for prayers, I prayed for her. O wa mou ba dura foun. She went. Oh Lord. When I saw her after that, she said, they didn't give me. So I said, ah, I see you are married. But we prayed. Uh, she said, I know they are not going to give me. Oh dear, multi me. I said, why? We prayed. When you kill day to that badura. I said we prayed, but you didn't say it is done. Only look to like Badura, to go and so we pray to this issue. Eh, so we eh, so we pray to this issue. I said, oh, I said, okay. They gave you permission to appear, not so. Money said, good mama, you know, said one you pray to go away, pray to ten lorum. She said yes. Only one so we pray. I said very good. Money to read now, da. Appeal. So from one you pay, that job one you tell Lord. And this time, this is in you. It is done. Ne ati oti disiye. She went back. Oh Lord. And when you appeal like that, they send you to the very person who refused you. And in now to koko ko la koko ni wo manu we ni besi. So that you won't be able to go and tell some lies. So, so she went back with the same papers to the same woman who said no. She looked through the papers. I said, ah, you mean we refuse you? Only ah, you know that if you call her, Coco. She said, sorry. Two years multiple. After we have thanked God this evening, I'm going to ask you to ask for one special breakthrough. To to which I'm going to say it is done. So very quickly, 
let us say thank you to the almighty god with our offering our dance i want you to dance with joy because after we say it is done but it's done. So over to you, brethren. Lord, you are so good. God, you Just one. The one you consider most urgent. Go ahead, two minutes. Two minutes.
Oh, thank you, Father. Let's bring our prayers to a close. Let's be standing with our hands raised to the Almighty God. Let's be standing with my father and my God, Baba me at your Lord me. Thank you for loving me. Modupe be a fair on me. Thank you for loving me in a very special way. Modupe be a ni fair me ni or not to shake pataki. Now by the authority that you have vested in me, Gege be a sheti eti for me. Concerning what this your children have just asked for, I hereby decree it is done. Oh, the me In the name of the Father, it is done. In the name of the Son, it is done. In the name of the Holy Spirit, it is done. In the name that's above every other name, it is done. You will testify. Amen. Father, please accept the thanksgiving of your children. Sanctify it, Lord. Use it for your glory. My Lord and my Savior. I'm saying once again before the sun rises let your children sing for victory thank you father glory be to your holy name in Jesus mighty name we have prayed shake hands with one or two people and tell them keep on digging keep on digging and then let me hear the loudest hallelujah you can ever shout. Hey, hallelujah.